Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Aline, I'm a jewelry designer. Today I'm going to talk about copper. Now I'm actually going to have three different videos on copper because there's so much to cover. This one is all going to be about the history of copper and then we'll go into more copper care and other uh, ideas about how to use copper uh, in a future video. However, this one is going to tell you about copper. Now I'm going to show you a piece of raw copper. I'm going to put it behind here so you can see it better. This is how it comes right out of the mine. They call it copper ore. This is a piece I purchased several years ago. You can see that bright orange color. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, beyond being beautiful, it's very versatile and it's been around forever. They've discovered artifacts and other things where copper was used over 10,000 years ago. Now the cool thing is that the when, when ancients were using stones to make weapons and other things that they needed to use to do the work, kitchen work, etc., they discovered copper and realized that it had a sharper edge to it and they could use it for a lot of different things that they couldn't use the stone for. They could make a saw out of it, for example. So they started using copper that way. Eventually, because copper is a little softer, now this is a piece just to show you, and this is a 20 gauge, which is a pretty good gauge, but you can still see the softness in there. Because it is a little softer metal, they discovered that they could add zinc to it, a little bit of zinc, and it gave it some hardness. And then that's what you see is uh, what they call bronze. So that's what happened. So copper is really the, the main component in bronze as well. The coolest thing I thought, these are some of the things I found when I was researching it, that 5,000 years ago, well, no, <laughs> now they discovered a pyramid that was 5,000 years old, and that particular pyramid had a copper plumbing system in it. So <laughs> they have been using copper for a long, long time and had found many, many uses for it. The other way, because it's so shiny, and I don't know if you can see it as well here, but because it's so shiny and they didn't have other options at that time, it was used as a mirror. The ancient Egyptians used it as a mirror. So I thought that was kind of cool. Also, um, we've used it in more not modern times for making pennies. Some people still spend with pennies. Uh, they were 100% copper until 1857. Then after 1857, they became actually zinc, which is again that harder metal and a less expensive metal. And then, but they were coated or plated with copper. So any pennies you have, if you're collecting pennies for any reason, they, unless they're from 1857, they are actually zinc with the copper plating on them. So don't melt them down and think you can make something out of them because I don't know if it will work. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you how I um, purchase it because copper, first of all, it can be recycled 100%. Every particular part of the copper can be recycled. So the pieces that I buy are already have already been recycled, so they were used somewhere else, perhaps in a roofing system or however other ways, and they've been recycled and then made into these sheets. And I will show you. This is how I purchase them in these sheets. Now this 22 that you see up here, that's just telling me what the gauge is. I've just written on that myself. It just tells me that this is a little lighter weight and you can kind of see the bend to it. You can see, oh, this looks better like a mirror too, doesn't it? You can see more of the shininess. So I either purchase it this way or I purchase it this way and I always buy it from a jewelry supplier. And the reason you can certainly go into a hardware store and purchase it, I'm just not sure if that has been recycled. I'm not sure of the system. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the recycled materials and the pure copper. So that's, that's how I use it anyway. It's mined in uh, Ari right here in Arizona. It's also a huge copper mining uh, in Michigan. And then they're, of course, all around the world. Egypt, of course, uh, and because it was named after, it was uh, named Cyprus 
after mining in Cyprus. It was named Cyprus and then it was shortened to Cuprum. And from Cuprum, the uh, American, or I should say English version of that is copper. So that's how it got its name. It's also mined in Australia and England. Lots of places around the world have it, so it's very prevalent and very fun to work with. It's not only in jewelry, but you will see it in vessels, in, uh, it resists bacteria, so you will see it a lot in the hospitals. You'll see where they might have copper uh, countertops or the handles on the doors might be copper because the bacteria won't stay to it. So, I mean, that's really, really important, especially in this day and age. Now, that is bacteria, not virus. Keep in mind if you're watching this during the COVID-19 um, pandemic. It, it won't make a difference with the virus, but definitely with any kind of bacteria. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it is very highly conductive, so you will see it in a lot of electrical things. You'll see it in circuit boards. Uh, again, I mentioned that it was also done in roofing and uh, other types of things. So it's everywhere, and it's so much fun to work with. In the next video, I will be talking more about how to care for it, and I'm also going to have one on different tips about what to do and how you might want to work with copper yourself. So if you would like to like this video, that would be right here. That lets me know you're interested. And then if you would like to subscribe, you can subscribe up here and then you'll get the information on the other copper ones coming up. And also over here you will see one on one of my gemstones because I do a lot of uh, different videos on gemstones. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Thank you for joining me.